Hey guys, Mark from the Comics, and I'm back with a new Comic Book Day Best Bets of the Week for February 26, 2020. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get that content out there, so you and make sure you have that bell notification on, so you can get the uh, all my recent content out there, and you know make some sound decisions when it comes to new Comic Book Day and, and any other content that I put out there. Um, recapping last week. Wasn't able to get my top pick of the week, which was Batman 89. Went to several LCSs, contacted several LCSs, and they were nothing but savages. I, it happens sometimes, you know, it is what it is. But I went to an LCS that I hadn't been in quite some time, and I was able to pick up not one, but two copies of uh, Bang Number 1, the Ash Cans. They were just sitting there right on the spinner rack. Nobody wanted them. They came out back in December. And I asked the uh, shop owner, and he was like, sure, just take them. So it pays to uh, get out there and do some hunting. You sometimes can score and, and get some nice books. Um, and I got them for free. So, uh, all right, let's get into it for this week. So let's get into it for this week. There's a ton of books. I'm going to try to keep this quick because there's a lot of books, but there's not a lot of good substance, if you know what I mean. So I'm um, starting off with the intro for Dark Horse. There is that bang number one second printing. If you weren't able to get the uh, first printing, chances are you're probably not going to get the second printing because it's even less printed. So uh, let's move on. I'm scrolling through. Um, first book is actually going to be Tomorrow Number One. Uh, just the one cover by uh, Dark Horse Comics, of course. We start from the top. And um, basically, it's after a Russian computer virus eliminates the world's adult population, a young man must ally with violent gangs to work his way across the country to reunite with his sister. Sounds pretty interesting. I always like these... Um, futuristic type of viruses, you know, ending the population type of storyline. So I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, it's going to add that to the list, and that's $3.99. First book. All right. Moving on to DC. Uh, first book in DC, and it's not going to come as to a surprise to many of you guys out there, but um, it's going to be my pick of the week. It's going to be a very desirable book, and if you guys don't know what that book is already, I'm going to show you. Year of the Villain, number, Hell Arisen, number three. There's two covers. They're both the same price, $4.99. Um, I'm making this my uh, pick of the week because it's going to be the first full appearance of Punchline. Let me add that to the list. It's going to be a very sought after book. If you don't have this on pole, good luck trying to get one. Um, these are already very low printed books to begin with. So um, I talked to my shop owner today and he was saying that only a couple people have this on their pole. So I'm most likely not going to be able to get this book. But it has been confirmed by uh, Key Collector Comics that there is multiple panels that talk about the character punchline. So this is the first full appearance and not Batman 92 like James Tinian was saying. I don't know if he was kind of playing around with us, but I'll show you some pictures on there to prove it. So moving on through Dynamite. There's usually nothing I usually get here. So I'm going to just scroll on through. But, uh, all right, on to IDW. And um, there is one book this week. I think it's going to be highly sought after as well. Uh, this came very close to making it my pick of the week. Um, but if it wasn't for uh, Year of the Villain, number three, this would be my pick of the week. It's going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Jenica, number one. It's her uh, first solo title featuring, obviously, Jenica. It's a three-issue limited series. There's um, a few covers I want to point out. 
is the, I believe, the cover A. Really cool uh, incentive cover B has that um, almost like that Incredible Hulk homage cover almost. Almost a little bit. And then there's this really cool, I guess, I don't know, almost like a sketch Jenica cover that's already sold out. So um, look out for that if you can find it. Uh, let's see, we'll add that to the list at $4.99. I think it'll be relatively easy to find, except for that uh, incentive cover. So uh, that's the third book for this week. You know, it's a rarity I put IDW books on there, but it's definitely a good book to, to look out for. Moving on to Image. I don't believe I have anything on here for this week. But let me just move on through pretty quickly just to see if there is. And if there is, I'll point that out. Nope, that's it. All right, so moving on to Marvel. There is this 2020 Force Works number one. To be honest, I have no interest in this book whatsoever. But I uh, just wanted to point that out. There is a first team appearance of Force Works 2020, which includes uh, War Machine, Quake, which is one of my personal... Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. characters right there, Mockingbird, U.S. Agent, Solo, and Gauntlet. So uh, if that's something that may interest you, you know, check that out, but I'm not going to be picking that up. Um, let's see what else we got on here. Bunch of ongoing story arcs. There is this key appearance here for uh, Avengers 31, which is also, if I'm not mistaken, it's an uh, oversized issue. But I think there's something going on in the story. I'm not sure. You guys can uh, add that in the comments below if there is. There is also another um, number one here, Falcon and the Winter Soldier number one. There is, I believe, the first appearance of the natural, which is uh, a killer. I, don't know. I think they're just putting these story arcs out because of the um, the Disney Plus shows. I don't think there will be anything too uh, interesting in here to, to read about. But if you do pick it up, let me know. Another number one here, Fantastic Four Grim Noir number one. Pretty interesting concept. Um, I'm personally not going to pick this up. I'm not a big fan of the uh, of the thing. but um, Or too much of the Fantastic Four, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, just, just you know, mentioning it out there for you guys that love number ones. All right, scrolling through some other number ones, Giant Size X-Men, Jean Grey, and Emma Frost. Not going to be picking that up, but uh, moving on. I think that may be it for uh, Marvel this week. I think it was just the, uh, uh, let's see, star number two, Star Wars, Tarot, Tarot number three, which actually have been surprisingly a pretty good read. And uh, there is a first team appearance in there of The Unbelievables. It's been a good read. A quick read, which I don't mind, but it has been a good read. Um, but I think that's it. I don't think I... Yeah, not even one book for Marvel this week. It's a very late week for Marvel, in my opinion. Uh, so, alright. There is this cool uh, Wolverine number one facsimile that you guys may be interested in. Gotta love that Wolverine uh, cover there. But it's a pretty cheap book to pick up raw, the actual original book. You can get one for around 30 bucks near mint. So just be aware of that as well if you're going out there to spend the four bucks for a facsimile. And uh, that's it for Marvel. Like I said, no, no books for Marvel. You know, it's a rarity, but it does happen. All right, going on to the, uh, the indies. Let's see, let's see. Ah, yes. By Zenoscope, you got Conspiracy Area 1. Area, sorry, Area 51. It's a one-shot. Um, I do like these conspiracy um, stories from time to time. They do, uh, they, they are pretty interesting. Um, who doesn't like a good Area 51 story? I'm going to add this to the list at... 499 
the uh, cover B is already sold out, which is actually really cool. Gotta love that cover. And then there's, um, I guess, a blank sketch cover, which is 850. Wow. And that's sold out as well. That'd be pretty cool to get that sketched. Um, so I added that to the list. Let's see what else. I think this is getting down to the uh, nitty gritty here, but um, there is this Finger Guns number one bulk comics. Um, basically, two troubled teenagers discover they can manipulate emotions by firing finger guns. I don't know. I seems like a little kid story, but in a sense, not a kid story. Doesn't seem like it's my kind of story, to be honest. I'm not gonna be picking that up, but um, may be interesting, especially for you guys who love all comics. They do put out put out some pretty good stories. And then. Um, Let's see. Uh, I've got Gung Ho number three, which has also been a very good story by Ablaze. Uh, I've been reading that. Picked up the uh, first issue. I think I put that on my uh, best bets of the week a few a few weeks back. Can't remember when that was, but uh, it's been a good read. And they've been putting out some pretty cool homage covers. Um, scrolling on, what else do we got here? There is this Laurel and Hardy meet the Three Stooges. It looks <laughs> seemed pretty funny, but uh, I'm not gonna be picking that up. And uh, let's see, we're getting towards the end. And like I said, it was a big week for amount of books, but not a lot of substance. So um, just be aware of that. Don't go crazy buying all these different covers and different books just because you feel like you have to buy them for new comic book day. Save that extra money and put it towards the next week, you know? There is this um, by Art Varka, really cool uh, <laughs> Silver Cerebus <Cerebus, laughs> one shot, which is obviously a cover swap to uh, Silver Surfer number one. I think that may be hot. You never know. And uh, yeah. That's really it. I think I may have missed a book. Let me just check. Going back up to Dark Horse. Oh, that's right. Hidden Society number one. Um, I'm going to add this as my honorable mention. It sounded interesting. It talks about the uh, Hidden Society enlists the aid of a blind girl and her demon, a young magician, and a cursed bounty hunter in order to stop a ground of nihilist warlocks from walking a deadly primeval primeval force so um, I'm gonna add that to the list as an honorable mention I'm not gonna add that as to um, best bets of the week you know you never know with these dark horse stories they have been out uh, they have the first look rights to uh, I believe Netflix so you never know what they're gonna pick up and, and add so that's gonna be my uh, honorable mention for the week just a quick recap how do we do just under 19 bucks I think that's a big success um, in the comments down below, please add down what you're looking at for New Comic Book Day. I'm gonna save that extra money and push it on to the next week. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Come back next week for another big week. Until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics.